Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today what we're going to be doing is another lipstick swatching video. I'm going to try on um, a few of the Maybelline Vivid's collection lipsticks for you. These are a really, really good alternative to a drug or a uh, higher end, you know, lipstick like MAC or something like that. These are really affordable. I think that they're only like six or seven dollars at the drugstore. So they're really easy to find and I just really love this line. They are incredibly opaque, bright, pigmented colors and I just love them. So with spring and summer coming up, I thought it'd be a perfect time to show you what all of these colors look like that I have. I have six of the colors. I'm not exactly sure how many total there are, um, but these were the six that I liked the best, so that's what I have. So the first one that I'm gonna show you is actually the one that I'm currently wearing and this one is called Fuchsia Flash. I've actually used this color in a tutorial before. So you can kind of go back and see what that looks like there as well. But this one is probably, out of the six, my second favorite. I'll show you my first favorite, but this is my second favorite color. It's an incredibly bright, beautiful, fluorescent pink, as you can see. Um, but I really think that it is just a beautiful color. It looks so good on a lot of different skin tones and different hair colors and eye colors. And it just really, really looks beautiful. So um, anyways, this one is Fuchsia Flash, and this is what the packaging looks like. So if you're at the drugstore looking for it, this is what it looks like. Um, it's in just the bright tubing, and this is, again, Maybelline. So it's just like a silver thing like this, and that's the color. And honestly, like, these have lasted so long, and the formula of these lipsticks are really, really good, too. They don't have any gross smell or taste or anything to them, which I love. I'm a really, really big weirdo about that. I cannot wear lipsticks that taste or smell weird. So um, I love that about these. The other thing I love is that they stay on so well. They are very, very long lasting. So I really think for a drugstore product, these are one of the best uh, lipstick formulas as far as I'm concerned. So anyways, let's move on to the other colors. Okay, so this is the next color, and this one is called Pink Pop, and this one is just, oh my gosh, I love this color. It is the perfect, like, Barbie pink, just what you would think a Barbie to wear. This is it. So this one is a cooler tone pink compared to the other one that I just showed you that was a little warmer, but this one has a more kind of a blue purplish undertone to it. I love it. I just love, honestly, this color is so Pretty. I find that I don't wear it a whole lot just because, I don't know, I guess I kind of gravitate towards the really, really bright colors if I'm going to go bright, um, but I love every time I wear this color. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I need to wear this more because I just love it. So this one, again, is called Pink Pop. Okay guys, this color is Shocking Coral, and this is my favorite out of all of the colors. This is the one that I wear the most often, and I guess it's just because it's such a in-between, you know, hot pink and orange. I love that, just that perfect coral shade, and that's really what this is, just in a really vibrant, bright form. So I really love this color. I think it is just beautiful with, you know, um, warmer looks. I think it's just amazing. So. I definitely wear this one out in the spring and summertime. Okay, so the next color is called Vivid Rose, and this color is truly a rose color. Looks like this. And if you're looking for something that's not quite like a red, but it still has that red undertone to it, this is really a great mixture between a hot pink and a bright red. This is a perfect mixture. So if you're not really quite wanting that bright red lip, then this is a great option. Um, I'll be honest, this one I don't wear a whole lot. I guess when I am wanting to wear that bright lip, like I said, I just gravitate towards that hot pink immediately, and that's just what I like the most. So that's kind of what I do, but this color is beautiful. And like I said, if you're wanting a great mixture between a red and a pink, this is that perfect color and it's just not you know as harsh I guess as the red lip is okay this color is vibrant mandarin and this one is your true bright orange color this one is really really pretty I love an orange lip I really really do um, a couple of years ago when the color of the year was 
whatever it was. It was an orange color. I can't remember the name. But I was just in love with it. I just loved the way that it looked on the lips. Not really so much anywhere else in the face. I wasn't a huge fan of the orange uh, eyeshadows and blushes and things like that. But this color on the lips is just so beautiful, so warm. It's perfect for spring and summer, and I love it. Okay, guys, last color. This one is called Brazenberry, and this is just a beautiful, bright purple shade. I love this color also. It's another one of my favorites. I know I say that about all of them, but this one really is. Um, this one and the Shocking Coral and Fuchsia Flash are my three top favorites. I love them. I wear them all the time. So uh, this color is really actually, a lot of people would be scared off by a purple lipstick, but honestly, this color can look good on so many people. Um, you know, really dark skin tones, paler skin tones, it really can look really pretty. It just depends on, you know, how you apply it and how, what you wear it with. So it's kind of scary, but it really can work. So you never know until you try. So, um, I'm just kind of advocating for the purple lip cause I feel bad. No one ever goes for it. So anyways, that was the last one guys. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you saw a color that you want to try. Uh, it's really helpful to me to see these shades on people and on, you know, different skin tones and stuff like that before I buy them. So I really like to do these videos because I know they're helpful. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I will see you next time.